gluten-free diets are becoming more popular in the human and the canine world. If you are looking for a homemade gluten-free dog recipe, I've got one to share with you today. This homemade gluten-free dog food is pretty simple to make. The first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which I've already done. Next, you're gonna take a well-greased casserole dish like this one, it doesn't have to be very big. And I have three cups of cooked rice here. So this is about a cup and a half of dry rice, and I've cooked it, and now it's about three cups of cooked rice. So I'm gonna put a layer of the cooked rice here I have half a cup of vegetables. I'm using green beans and peas. You can use any dog friendly vegetables if you have carrots. Beets are great for dogs. There's all kinds of really good healthy vegetables for dogs so um, feel free to use any dog friendly vegetables. So, and I have the half a cup of veggies there and then now I'm gonna layer the other half of my rice on top there and obviously you don't have to measure it out a cup and a half on the bottom and a cup and a half on top. Just kind of eyeball it, make sure that you've got enough left on the top to cover your vegetables. And then in a separate bowl here, I have um, a quarter of a cup of milk and one egg that I've whisked together and I'm just gonna dump those over the top of the rice mixture. And finally, I have one quarter of a cup of grated cheese, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on. I'm using mozzarella, you can use cheddar, any kind of uh, grated cheese that you have on hand. Now we're gonna bake this in the 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. So here is the uh, gluten-free homemade dog food recipe. You can tell that our Chocolate Lab Sadie loves it. Uh, this has no gluten in it, so if your dog's on a gluten-free diet or you just prefer to feed him a gluten-free food, this is a good choice. Sadie keeps moving out of the screen. Uh, she clearly obviously enjoys this. It's very healthy for any dog. This is a great diet for seniors and pets on um, a low calorie diet as well. If you guys have any questions about this recipe or a gluten free diet, feel free to email me, uh, Samantha at topdogtips.com. You're going to want to feed about one half to three quarters of a cup of this food per every 25 pounds of body weight. Um, and if you have questions about the exact serving size for your pet, be sure to reach out to your veterinarian. You can also add supplements for your dog as needed. Um, and again, you want to check with your vet for that. I will see you guys back with another recipe soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. We really appreciate you guys tuning in whenever we post a new video. Of course, you can check us out on our website, topdogtips.com. So be sure to bookmark that and check back often because we are always publishing new reviews, um, product information, top 10 lists, information about dog care, grooming, training, um, all aspects of dog care health, and uh, we share some vet tips on there, all kinds of great stuff. So if you're a dog owner, dog lover, that's the site for you. Also, be sure to find us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Uh, you can find us on Pinterest as well. So um, make sure to follow us and then you'll stay up to date with everything that's going on on our website and on our social media. You'll see all the newest videos whenever they're posted. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. All you have to do is go to YouTube, search for Top Dog Tips. We're right there. Subscribe and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So be sure to do that. Thanks again for watching watching guys and I'll see you back soon with another great Top Dog Tips video.